As discussed previously on the blog, we've been discussing how you can use WebSockets over HTML5 to allow multiple web pages to communicate with each other, and that WebSockets have been supported in both the iOS um, mobile Safari system as well as many browsers um, for the past couple of years. They are not yet supported in Android, but we have seen Google announce that Chrome, Chrome for Android beta does support WebSockets. Now, my iPhone on the left has just turned off, but I'll turn it back on in a minute. The iPad on the right and the computer in the middle are all pointing to the same web page. They've all downloaded and are running the HTML5 web application, which, if you've been following the blog, has uh, shown the little animated um, I've been showing screenshots of the little animated goblin going back and forth across the screen and showing how there's no effective um, frame rate decrease as that, as that guy's scooting back and forth. This is probably the first time you guys have seen it in motion. Now I'll turn on the iPhone. It'll have to reconnect to the server. And once that's done, you'll be able to see how quickly the devices can communicate with each other over WebSockets. So I'll turn the iPhone back on. He's going to talk, and while he's setting back up, I can show you, at least on the iPad and the desktop, and now the iPhone's back in too, that it's effectively pretty instant. This can be a little bit of lag, but not much. It's bi-directional. Messages are coming in and going out from all the different devices. So it's really, really fast. You can basically with some creativity, set up pretty much whatever you want over this kind of a system. Um, it's very cool. And in a minute, I'm about to run out of battery, but in a minute I will show how it works with uh, cell connection. Okay, the battery has been recharged. The cell phone, the iPhone, has been... This is a 3GS, by the way. This isn't a 4, this isn't a 4S. It's a pretty old uh, device as far as the CPU inside goes. It is running iOS 5. Anything earlier than a 3GS cannot support iOS 5, I believe, and you lose a lot of the optimizations that got made with, um, with iOS 5 in any of the earlier versions. Although WebSockets themselves are supported, the HTML5 Canvas speed upgrades um, were an, a big introduction of HTML5, uh, of, I'm sorry, iOS 5. And so anything earlier than a 3GS, a 3G or a first gen iPhone is probably not going to have nearly as much success if you're trying to build a web app for it as anything 3GS or higher. But I'm very happy with the 3GS level of um, updating that you can do. So the cell phone has been updated, uh, has been switched over to the cell network. And now I'm going to turn it back on and you'll be able to see what the latency of communication is for WebSockets over cell. You have to wait for it to reconnect back to the server. It's syncing back up. Let's see how it's doing. Are we awake? Not yet. There it goes. So, um, over the cell, now you can see that you've still got sometimes a very rapid communication back and forth. And sometimes there's a noticeable Oh, half second to second lag in the communication. So once you move, once you eliminate wireless connectivity, and it's still bidirectional, of course. Once you eliminate wireless from the equation, you're still pretty fast. That's still pretty. I, I have. To, I think this is really cool that basically these apps can talk over cell now without even in, without any networking effectively um, this quickly with each other. You have to be a little more creative in your app development um, if you're in a game, if you're doing a real-time game. You have to be a little more creative in how you're going to hide from the player of the game. The fact that you've got a bit of, you've got a bit of a lag there. Um, but anything else is, you know, you're good to go. And even with a real-time game, I think that uh, there, there are tricks you can do to be able to hide the fact that 
you're madly sending messages back and forth and they take a little while to get through and you're but uh, on the screen you're able to show some animations in the meantime while you're waiting for that message to get through. It's not it's nothing that other uh, multiplayer applications have had to deal with. If you've ever played World of Warcraft and your um, character suddenly you find that it got hit five times and it never showed up in your client, something like that. Um, lag is not something that we are unfamiliar with in the wireless or even the wired world as well. It just becomes a bit more of an issue on the cellular network. So that's it. It's um, really cool in my opinion. It's really fast and I'm thrilled and excited to hope to see a lot of HTML5 applications coming as the infrastructure is getting to be really, really neat to be able to build on top of. Thanks a lot.